Hello everyone, in this video I am going to solve A-Levels Pure Mathematics Paper 1 in a session May June 2021 Paper 1-3. So let's start with the first question. Question number 1. A curve with equation y equals to f of x is such that its first derivative is given. It is given that the curve passes through the point 2, 7, find f of x, right? We have given f prime of x which is equals to 6x square minus 8 over x square, right? We have to integrate on both sides to get the uh, curve. So integration of f prime of x dx, 6 is outside, integration of x square dx, minus 8 is outside, integration of x power minus 2 dx, right? So here we will get f of x, and this is 6 x cube over 3 minus 8 x power uh, minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 over minus 1 plus some constant of integration right now f of x this would be equals to 3 times 2 is 6 2 x cube plus 8 over x plus c right to get the value of c we have to use the point which is 2 7 we have given these point uh, the curve passes through these points so x value is 2 and y value is 7 so 2 2 cube plus 8 over 2 plus c right so we have uh, 7 minus 2 power 4 2 power 4 is 16 and minus 8 by 2 which is 4 this is the C right so 7 minus 16 minus 4 this would be negative of 13 so C value is negative 13 so now we can say the equation of curve is f of x would be 2x cube plus 8 over x minus 13 this is the equation of curve now for question number 2, the function f is defined by f of x equals to this for x is between 1 by 2 to a. It is given that f is a decreasing function. Okay, so for decreasing function, we have the condition that f prime of x must be less than 0. Find the maximum possible value of a constant a. So first we need to find what is f prime of x, right? 1 by 3 is as it is using the power rule, we have 3 by 2 into 2x minus 1 it's power 3 by 2 minus 1 which is 1 by 2 and the derivative of 2x minus 1 is 2 minus 2x derivative is just 2 3 is cancelled with 3 2 is cancelled with 2 we are left with square root of 2x minus 1 and minus 2 this is f prime of x right now for decreasing function We know that the first derivative should be less than 0. f prime of x is less than 0. Right. So this is square root of 2x minus 1 minus 2 is less than 0. Square root of 2x minus 1 is less than 2. Right. Now to get rid of square root, we have to do scaling on both sides. So this is 2x minus 1 is less than 2 square is 4. 2x is less than 4 plus 1. So 2x is less than 5. And what is x? x is less than 5 over 2. Right. And we know that the value of x should lie. So this is the a value. So a should be equals to 5 by 2. And we have uh, 1 by 2 is 0 0.5. And what is 5 by 2? 2.5 right so we have given the uh, the domain between 1 by 2 to a so it is clear that x is between 1 by 2 is less than x is less than 5 by 2 so the maximum possible value of a constant a is 5 by 2 now for question number 3 a line with equation y equals to mx minus c is tangent to the curve with equation y equals to x square minus 4x plus 3. So this is a parabola and this is a straight line. So this line is tangent to the curve. It means it touched the curve at one point, right? Find the possible values of a constant m and the corresponding coordinates of the point at which the line touches the curve, 
right so first we have to find the point of intersection point of intersection of line and curve right so x square minus 4x plus 3 should be equals to mx minus 6 x square minus 4x minus mx plus 3 plus 6 should be equals to 0 x square is common taking x common we are left with minus m minus 4 plus 9 equals to 0 right okay so for tangent we know that uh, discriminant should be equals to um, 0 so we can say that because uh, yeah, tangent touch the curve at only one point so for one solution we can say b square minus 4ac should be equals to 0 from here we will get the m value so minus m minus 4 whole square minus 4 times the a value and the c value should be equals to 0 right open the square we have m square 4 square is 16 plus 2ab 2 times 4 is 8 and m and 4 times 9 is 36 negative of 36 equals to 0 m, m square plus 8m and uh, 16 minus 36 is negative of 20 this is equals to 0 now let me factorize this 1 times negative 20 is negative 20 and uh, 2 times 10 is 20 and 10 minus 2 makes 8 m square plus 10m minus 2m minus 20 equals to 0 m is common m plus 10 negative 2 is common m plus 10 equals to 0 so the two factors are m plus 10 and m minus 2 equals to 0 right now the possible values of a constant m are m is equals to 2 and m is equals to negative of 10 right now the next thing we have to find the corresponding coordinates of the points at which the line touch the curve right now let's do the first case case 1 when m is 2 right substitute m equals to 2 in this equation and we can solve the x and the y coordinate right x square plus x we have minus 2 minus 4 plus 9 equals to 0 so x square minus 6x plus 9 equals to 0 right so this is x minus 3 whole square equals to 0 or x minus 3 equals to 0 so x is, would be equals to 3 right so the x coordinate is 3 now let me substitute that x value into the line to get the y so y would be equals to 2 x minus 6 y would be equals to 2 times of 3 minus 6 so this is 6 minus 6 so y would be equals to 0 right so the first point of intersection is 3 and 0 right now let's do the second case now for case 2 when m is negative 10 right so we have x square plus x minus m which is plus 10 minus 4 plus 9 equals to 0 so here we have x square plus 6x plus 9 equals to 0 so x plus 3 whole square equals to 0 or we can say x plus 3 should be equals to 0 so x is equals to negative 3 so when x is negative 3 what is the y value so from here y would be equals to negative mx minus 6 y is minus 10 into minus 3 minus 6 10 times 3 is 30 so we have 30 take away 6 is 24 so y should be equals to 24 now the next point of intersection is when x is minus 3 y value is 24 so these are the corresponding coordinates of the point at which the line touch the curve now for number 4 part a show that the equation this equals to k where k is a constant may be expressed as this would be equals to k so we have to show that tan x plus sin x over tan x minus sin x is 1 plus cos x over 1 minus cos x okay let me take the left hand side and open the tangent so we know that tan is sin x 
over cos x plus sin x over sin x over cos x minus sin x right next step let me take the lcm we have uh, sin x plus sin x cos x over sin x minus sin x cos x and both uh, this term divides cos x and this also divides cos x so we can cancel the cos easily right now in the next step let me take sin x common we are left with 1 plus cos x over again taking sin x common we have 1 minus cos x so cancel the sin x we have proved the right hand side which is equals to 1 plus cos x over 1 minus cos x right now for part b hence expressed cos x in terms of k okay use this thing we know that 1 plus cos x over 1 minus cos x is equals to k right we have to do the cross multiplication 1 plus cos x is equals to k minus k cos x combining the cos so we have cos x plus k cos x this should be equals to k minus 1 cos x is common we are left with 1 plus k into k minus 1 right so we have cos x should be equals to k minus 1 over k plus 1 so this is cos x in terms of k right now for part c hence solve the equation tan x plus sin x over tan x minus sin x should be equals to 4 for x is between um, minus pi to plus pi right okay so from part a we know that this should be equals to k and from here the k is basically equals to 4 so k is 4 and we also know that this term if this term equals to k this should be equals to this and it will be equals to 4 so if i simplify this in terms of 4 we come to know that the cos x should be equals to 4 minus 1 over 4 plus 1 which is 3 by 5 right now we can easily find the value for x between minus pi to plus pi so x should be equals to cos inverse of 3 by 5 right it should be in radians okay cos inverse 3 by 5 this is 0 0.9237 okay x should be equals to 0 0.927 radians and uh, we know that cos is positive in the first and in the fourth quadrant so for the fourth quadrant we have to do 2 pi minus answer 2 pi minus answer uh, which is more than our range minus pi to plus pi yes since the range of uh, x we have given is between minus pi to plus pi so we have we know that cos is positive in first and fourth quadrant so the reference angle we have is 0 0.927 for the first quadrant and since we are going in clockwise direction now the reference angle for the fourth quadrant is negative of that angle so negative of 0 0.927 radians right Question number five, the diagram shows a triangle ABC in which uh, angle ABC is 90 degree and AB is 4 centimeter. The sector ABD is the part of the circle with center A. ABD is a sector, center is A. Uh, the area of a sector is 10 centimeter square. Part A, find the angle BAD. BAD, what is this angle? We have to find, right? So we know that area of a sector is um, area of sector is half radius square theta. Area is 10 equals to half. The radius is 4 square and we have to solve for theta, right? So let me simplify. So from here, what is theta? Theta is 10 times 2 over 4 square is 16 okay so 20 over 16 
which is 4 by 5 or 1.25 radians. This angle is 1.25 radians. Right. Now for part B, find the parameter of the shaded region. So this is a shaded region. So to find the parameter of the shaded region, basically we have to find the area of um, the no, the side BC, B to D and D to C, right? Okay. So this is a sector. So A to D, A to B is 4, A to D is also 4 centimeter, right? So it is a right angle triangle. We can use the trigonometric ratios. We have this angle opposite over hypotenuse, uh, opposite over adjacent. Use the ratio of tangent to solve for BC, right? So we can say that uh, tan of angle 1.25 opposite side is BC over adjacent side is 4. So we will get the value for BC. So what is BC? BC is 4 times tan of 1.25 in radians, right? So we have uh, 4 times tan 1.25 which is 12.01 12.01 centimeter right so we have BC 12.01 centimeter okay now let me find AC by using the same concept we have uh, adjacent we have opposite, adjacent and hypotenuse. So using adjacent over hypotenuse, the ratio for cause or you can use uh, um, the Pythagoras theorem because it is a right angle triangle. Both methods are correct, right? So if we use uh, cause of angle A, which is 1.25, the adjacent is 4 and the hypotenuse is AC, right? So what is AC from here? AC is uh, we have 4 over cos of 1.25. Simplify 4 divide cos of 1.25 which is 12.7 centimeters, right? So this A to C is 12.7. So we know that AC is basically a sum of AD plus DC. We have AC 12.7, AD we have 4, we need to find what is DC because DC is shaded one, right? So which is 12.7 minus 4 is your DC. 12.7 minus 4 which is 8.7. 8.7 centimeter is my DC, right? 8.7 centimeter right okay now we need to find the parameter of the shaded region so we have bc we have dc so what is this b to d this is the arc length right so let me find the arc length so we can say that arc length bd this is uh, radius times theta Radius is 4 and theta is 1.25. 4 times 1.25, which is 5. This arc length is 5, right? Now, the parameter of the shaded region is 5 plus 12.01 plus 8.7. We will get the parameter. 5 plus 1, 12.01 plus 8.7, this is 25.71, or we can say 25.7 centimeter is a parameter for the shaded region. Question number 6, functions f and g are both defined for x belongs to real number and are given by f of x and g of x. They are standard form of a quadratic function. Part A, by first expressing each of f of x and g of x in completed square form. So first we need to express both function in completing square form. Then we have to express g of x in the form f of x plus p plus q where p and q are constants, right? So let me start with f of x we have uh, x square minus 2 times x times 1 plus 1 square minus 1 square plus 5 
So we have x minus 1 whole square plus 4. Right? Now for g of x, we have to do x square plus 2x times 2 plus 2 square minus 2 square plus 13. So we have x plus 2 whole square and 13 minus 4 is 9 plus 9 okay now we have to express uh, g of x in terms of f of x plus p uh, plus q okay okay now you can see we have to express g of x in terms of f of um, x plus p plus q okay okay so this is g of x so we have g of x this should be equals to f of we have 2 over here and minus 1 over here. Okay, so how can we get 2? We have minus 1. Minus 1 plus 3 makes 2. So x minus x plus 3. Right. And we have to make 9 when we have 4 over here. So 4 plus 5 makes 9. So plus 5. Right. So basically if we have, um, if we add 3 over here, so if I can do this, show you here, x minus 1 plus 3 whole square and plus 4, we add 5, right? So we have x plus 2 whole square and plus 9 and this is my g of x, right? So adding 3 and adding 5. So this is the p and q, p is 3 and q value is 5. Now for part B, describe fully the transformation which transform the graph of y equals to f of x to the graph of y equals to g of x. Okay, so we know that uh, g of x is f of x plus 3 plus 5. So we have a translation. We have horizontal and a vertical translation. So the horizontal translation is three units to the left, and the vertical translation is one, five units to the uh, five units up. So the, this is only transformation, which uh, transform the graph of f of x to g of x. Question number seven, part A. Write down the first four terms of the expansion in the ascending power of x for x minus a minus x power. 6 okay so first four terms so a power is 6 plus 6 c 1 a power is 5 and minus x power is 1 plus 6 c 2 a power is 4 now and minus x whole square and 6 c 3 a power is uh, 3 and minus x power is 3 okay Simplify this further. This is a power 6. What is 6c1? Six we have 6c1, which is 6. So minus, we have plus. We have 6a5 minus x. Okay. Let me do 6c2, which is 15. a4, x squared. 6c3 is 20 a cube x cube this is minus x cube right okay let me rearrange this so we have uh, a minus x power 6 the first four terms are a power 6 minus 6 x a power 5 plus 15 x square a power 4 minus 20 x cube a cube right now for part b given that the coefficient of x square in the expansion of this is negative 20 find in exact form the possible values of the constant a right so we have the expansion 1 plus 2 over a x into x uh, a minus x power 6 we already uh, found the first four terms so times with a 6 minus 6 x a 5 plus 15 x square a 4 minus 20 x cube a cube plus up to so on okay now let me find the first um, 
coefficient of x square so first we have to times by 1 so we have x a6 here uh, when we are multiplying with 1 we have constant term x term x square term which is 15 a4 is the x square term this is x cube term now multiplying with this so we have x1 over x term here we have a constant term this is over x uh, yes let me check this is 1 over x term yes times by this is the constant term times by this is x is cancelled with x square so x term this would be x square term right so 2 over a x times minus 20 a cube x cube this would be x square term right so we have 15 a 4 x square um, plus let me simplify uh, a is cancelled with we are left with a square and we are left with x square right 2 times minus 20 is minus 40 a square x square right so we have 15 a 4 minus 40 a square this is the coefficient of x square so we have given the x square coefficient is negative 20 right coefficient of x square is minus 20 let's simplify so 15 a 4 minus 40 a square this is minus 20 right okay so we can say 15 a 4 minus 40 a square plus 20 this would be equals to 0 now let me divide by 5 times table 5 times 3 is 15 a 4 5 times 8 would be 40 and 5 times 2 is uh, 5 times uh, 4 20 divides 4 uh, sorry uh, 20 divides 5 is 4 yes so plus 4 this would be equals to 0 now let me factorize this 3 times 4 is 12 and uh, 3 times 4 makes 12 2 times 6 is 12 and 2 plus 6 is 8 minus 2 minus 6 3a4 minus 2a square minus 6a uh, square plus 4 this would be equals to 0 taking a square common we are left with 3a uh, square minus 2 taking negative um, 2 common 3a square minus 2 this would be equals to 0 right so we have two factors 3a square minus 2 and we have a square minus 2 equals to 0 so from here we can say 3a square minus 2 would be equals to 0 and a square minus 2 would be equals to 0 so what is the a square this is 2 by 3 and from here a square is equals to 2 we have to find the possible values of a constant a so a would be equals to plus minus square root of 2 by 3 and here a would be equals to plus minus square root of 2 right question number 8 functions f and g are defined as follow we have f of x and g of x part a solve the equation f composition g of x would be equals to 3 so first we have to find what is f of g of x right f and g of x is 1 over 2x plus 1 this would be equals to 1 over 2x plus 1 whole square minus 1 in f of x right okay so we have to put this equals to 3 so we can say 1 over 2x plus 1 whole square minus 1 would be equals to 3 we have to solve for x 1 over 2x plus 1 whole square this would be equals to 3 plus 1 makes 4 right now let's do the cross multiplication 1 would be equals to 4 into 2x plus 1 whole square 1 equals to 4 into 4x square plus 1 plus 4x so 1 equals to 16x square plus 4 plus 16x right and if we I subtract 4 um, subtracting 1 here so we have 16x square plus 16x and 4 subtract 1 is positive 3 equals to 0 
okay now we have uh, let me factorize this we have 16 times 3 is 48 and 12 times 4 is 48 and uh, 12 plus 4 is 16 16 x square plus 12 x plus 4 x plus 3 equals to 0 right so let me take um, we have 4 x is common 4 times 4 is 16 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1 is common 4x plus 3 is left equals to 0 so the factors are 4x plus 3 and 4x plus 1 equals to 0 so we have uh, 4x plus 3 equals to 0 and the other term is 4x plus 1 equals to 0 we have to solve for x so x is equals to negative 3 by 4 and here x is equals to negative 1 by 4 right so what is 3 by 4 we have uh, minus 0 0.75 right and 1 by 4 is minus 0 0.25 okay which value is satisfied so we know that the domain for this composite function f composition g the domain of f of x is x is less than 0 and the domain of g of x is x is less than negative 0 0.5 okay so negative 0 0.5 uh, so we have to uh, this does not belong to the domain this is the only solution right so only solution is x is equals to negative 0 0.75 or we can say negative 3 by 4 because this solution belongs to the domain of the composite function f composition g which is uh, less than negative 0 0.5 now for part b find an expression for f composition g inverse right so what is f composition g of x this function we have is 1 over 2x plus 1 whole square minus 1 right we can say this would be equals to y and we have to switch the variables so we can say x would be equals to 1 over 2y plus 1 whole square minus 1 right next step solving for y so we can say x plus 1 is equals to 1 over 2y plus 1 whole square right okay now switching the places 2y plus 1 whole square this would be 1 over x plus 1 right now we have to solve for y so get rid of this scale so taking square root on both sides so 2y plus 1 equals to plus minus 1 over square root of x plus 1 right so we can say that 2y would be equals to plus minus 1 over square root of x plus 1 and subtracting 1 so we have y or we can say inverse y would be equals to plus minus 1 over 2 square root of x plus 1 minus 1 over 2 right okay now uh, the question is we have to pick the positive one or the negative one right since we know that the domain of f composition g of x is x is less than minus 0 0.5 right so we have to pick the negative one not the positive one so we can say that so f composition g inverse of x is equals to uh, minus 1 over 2 square root of x plus 1 and minus 1 by 2 question number 9 part a a geometric progression is such that its second term is equals to 24 percent of sum to infinity find the possible values of the common ratio so the second term of geometric progression is a r which is equals to 24 percent of s infinity which is a over 1 minus r right so here we can easily cancel a with a and we have to solve for r okay so r into 1 minus r this is equals to 24 over 100 right so what is 24 over 100 which is 0 0.24 right so this is 0 0.24 so r minus r square minus 0 0.24 this is equals to 0 so taking negative sign common so r square 
and uh, plus, minus r plus 0 0.24 this would be equals to 0 right now let's multiply multiplying by 100 uh, in order to get rid of this decimal number we are multiplying by 100 so we have 100 r square minus 100 r um, plus 24 this would be equals to 0 right now let me factorize this we have 100 times 24 is uh, 2400 and we know that 6 times 4 is 24 or 60 times 40 is 2400 and 60 plus 40 makes 100 so 100 r square minus 60 r minus 40 r plus 24 equals to 0 right now what is common so let me take uh, we have uh, okay let me divide this by dividing by 2 right so 100 by 2 is 50 r square minus 30 r minus 20 r plus 12 equals to 0 again dividing by 2 this is easy to pick the common one okay we have 25 r square minus 15 r minus 10 r and plus 6 equals to 0 right okay okay now from 25 and 15 let me take 5 common 5 r 5 times 5 is 25 and 5 times 3 is 15 right and uh, from how can I make 5 we can take minus 2 common 2 times 5 is 10 and 2 times um, 3 is 6 equals to 0 right so the two factors are 5r minus 3 and uh, 5r minus 2 equals to 0 right so from here we have 5r minus 3 would be equals to 0 and r is 3 by 5 and we can say 5r minus 2 equals to 0 and r is 2 by 5. So these are the two solutions 3 by 5 and 2 by 5. These are the two possible values of the common ratio. Now for part B, an arithmetic progression P has the first term A and the common difference D. An arithmetic progression Q has the first term 2 times of A plus 1 and the common difference is D plus 1. It is given that 5th term of P over 12th term of Q is 1 by 3 and sum of first 5 terms of P and sum of first 5 terms of Q is 3 by uh, 2 by 3 find the values of a and the value of d okay using this ratio fifth value of p fifth value of p is uh, we know that a uh, and d a is a first term and d is a common difference so for fifth value we have a plus and minus 1 into d so 4d right and we have uh, 12th term of q so again q for 12th term a which is 2 times of a plus 1 plus n minus 1 which is 11 and d is d plus 1 right we have to make its ratio equals to 1 by 3 for uh, let me simplify the other one sum of uh, 5 terms of p okay sum of five terms of p is uh, uh, s5 which is 5 by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d right okay sum of five terms of q okay five terms of q uh, which is again 5 by 2 and by 2 into 2a 2 times of a which is 4 a plus 1 plus n minus 1 which is 4 into d to d plus 1 right now let me substitute the values into the ratio okay so we can say that a plus 4 d over this term which is 2 into a plus 1 plus 11 into d plus 1 which is 1 by 3 let me make the equation in terms of a and d from the first ratio right okay cross multiplication we can do we have 3 times of a plus 4d 
this is 1 times of 2 into a plus 1 plus 11 into d plus 1. So 3a plus 12d, this is equals to 2a plus 2 plus 11d plus 11. 3a plus 12d minus 2a minus 2 minus 11d minus 11 equals to 0. Now the a terms are 3a minus 2a which is just a and the d terms are 12d minus 11d which is just d and minus 2 and minus 11 which is minus 13. This is equals to 0 or we can say a plus d is equals to 13. This is my first equation. Right. Let me make the second ratio. Right. Okay. Sum of first five terms we have 5 by 2 into 2a plus 4d over 5 by 2 into 4 into a plus 1 plus 4 into d plus 1. This is 2 by 3. Okay. Now we can easily cancel 5 by 2. Right. Now do a cross multiplication again. So 3 is multiplying with 2a plus 4d. And here 2 is multiplying with 4a plus 4 plus 4d plus 4. Right. So 3 times 2 is 6a. 3 times 4 is 12d. This would be equals to 2 times 4 is 8a plus 8 plus 8d plus 8. Right. Let me make another equation in terms of a and d. So 6a plus 12d minus 8a minus 8 minus 8d minus 8 equals to 0. Okay, so 6 minus 8 is minus 2a, right? And d minus a, 12 minus 8d, 12 minus 8 is 4 plus 4d. So we have done with a and d terms 8 plus 8 makes 16. So negative of 16 equals to 0. Now let me divide by 2. So minus a plus 2d minus uh, 8 would be equals to 0 or minus a plus 2d. This would be equals to 8. This is my second equation. Now let me solve the two equations, the system of linear equations simultaneously and we will get the value of a and the value of d. Let me rewrite the two equations again. We have a plus d is equals to 13 and minus a plus 2d equals to 8. Right. So if I add the two equations, we can easily get the value for d. So let me do this. Okay, adding equation 1 and equation 2, we can cancel positive a and negative a. We are left with 3d, which is equals to 13 plus 8. 21 and 3 times 7 is 21 so d value is 7 right now substitute the d value into the first equation a would be equals to 13 minus d a would be equals to 13 minus 7 so 13 take away 7 is 6 so the first term is equals to 6 so the value of a is 6 and the value of d is 7 Question number 10 points A, B and C lies on the circumference of a circle with center D. Uh, part A show that the angle A, B, C is 90 degree. Okay, so if the angle A, B, C is 90 degree, so they lies on the circumference of a circle. So if I draw the points, let's say this is a point A, B and C. So angle A, B, C is 90 degree when AB is perpendicular to BC or we can say that the slope of AB times the slope of BC should be equals to negative 1 right so now let me find the two slopes right so slope of AB A and B slope of AB is um, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 3 plus 2 times B and C we can find the slope uh, 5 minus 0 over 6 minus 3 so negative 3 over 5 times 5 over 3 right 5 is cancelled with 5 3 is cancelled with 3 we are left with minus 1 so this implies that the angle a b c is 90 degree 
they are perpendicular right now for part b uh, hence state the uh, coordinates of d okay so d is basically the center of a circle so the how can we find the a b c these points lies on the circumference of a circle so the coordinates are of d are basically the midpoint of a and c we will get the midpoint of ac which is d right okay d is the midpoint of ac right so the midpoint of ac is minus 2 plus 6 divided by 2 and 3 plus 5 divided by 2 so this is um, we have 4 by 2 and 5 plus 3 would be 8 by 2 so this is equals to 2 and 4 so 2 4 are the coordinates of d are the or the coordinates of center of a circle now for part c find an equation of center of uh, find the equation of the circle the equation of circle is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square equals to radius square so we know that the center is 2 and 4 so x minus 2 y minus 4 equals to r square to get the radius as we know that the points a b c lies on the circumference of a circle you can put any point a b or c and we can solve for the radius right so let me substitute the point b which is 3 0 x is 3 and y is 0 okay so 3 minus 2 whole square plus 0 minus 4 whole square this would be equals to this is your r square right okay 3 minus 2 is 1 1 square is 1 4 square is 16 this is r square so that is 17 is my r square so the equation of circle is x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 4 whole square equals to 17 the point E lies on the circumference of a circle. E is another point which lies on the circumference of a circle such that BE is the diameter of a circle, right? We know that AC, uh, BD, uh, B to D is the radius of a circle and B to E is the diameter of a circle. Okay, part uh, D, find an equation of tangent to the circle at E. Okay, this is a rough sketch of a circle. We have a point B, let's say over here, the X value is 3 and the Y is 0. And um, this is D, the center, which is uh, 2, 4. We have a point E such that B to E is the diameter of a circle. Okay, this is the diameter of a circle. E is the point over here. Let's say X, Y are the coordinates of E. Then we can find the um, equation of tangent to the circle at E. So the first step is to, we need to find the, what are the coordinates of E, right? Okay, so if we have a line uh, B, E and a midpoint, so we can say the midpoint is adding the x x1 plus x2 divides 2 and y1 plus y2 divides 2 right midpoint is d which is 2 4 x1 is uh, we can say x plus 3 divides 2 and y plus 0 divides 2 right so comparing we can say x plus 3 divided by 2 is equals to 2 so x plus 3 is equals to 4 so x is 4 minus 3 here x would be equals to 1 right okay same steps we can do y plus 0 divides 2 would be equals to 4 y is equals to 4 times 2 so y would be equals to 8 right so we can say that the coordinates of e are x y which is equals to 1 and 8 all right now we have to find the equation of tangent to the circle at point e right so equation of tangent to the circle at point e is first we need to find the slope of b e and do its negative reciprocal because if we draw the tangent line to the circle at point e 
so tangent is perpendicular to the diameter right so we need to find the slope of uh, be first right so b is 3 0 e is 1 and 8 so y2 minus y1 is 8 minus uh, 0 over x2 minus x1 which is uh, 3 minus 1 sorry this is 1 minus 3 so this is 8 over negative 2 which is negative 4 right so we can say that the slope of perpendicular of be is a negative reciprocal which is 1 by 4 right now let me write down the equation of tangent equation of tangent is uh, y minus y naught equals to m into x minus x naught right so we have y minus y naught is 8 m is 1 by 4 x minus x naught is 1 right so this is equation of tangent to the circle at point e question number 11 the diagram shows the part of the curve with equation y equals to this right where k is a positive constant k is positive right part a find the coordinates of the minimum point of the curve giving your answer in terms of k for the minimum point what we have to do we need to find y prime and put it equals to zero we will get the coordinates the x and the y coordinates right so first let me differentiate this what is dy over dx which is uh, power rule 1 by 2 x power 1 by 2 minus 1 which is minus 1 by 2 plus k square is a positive constant it is as it is times minus 1 by 2 and x power minus 1 by 2 minus 1 which is minus 3 by 2 right okay now we need to put this equals to 0 to solve for the x coordinate for the minimum right okay so we have x power minus 1 by 2 plus k square into minus x power minus 3 by 2 and this would be equals to 2 uh, 0 uh, times 2 this would be equals to 0 right okay so we have to solve for x in terms of k or we can say that x power minus 1 by 2 this would be equals to k square x power minus 3 by 2 right x power minus 1 by 2 over x power minus 3 by 2 this is k square right minus 1 by 2 so here x power minus 1 by 2 and we have to shift in the numerator plus 3 by 2 this is k square okay minus 1 by 2 plus 3 by 2 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 is 1 so x is k square so when x is k square what is y y is uh, k square power 1 by 2 plus k square is as it is and k square power minus 1 by 2 right so here we can say y is equals to square root of k square plus k square is as it is over square root of k square right so we can say taking lcm square root of k square and square root of k square is k square plus k square divides square root of k square which is 2 k square over square root of k square right we can write down as 2 k square is square root of k square times square root of k square we can write this down so we will get just k square over square root of k square we can cancel the like terms and the y coordinate is 2 square root of k square which is equals to k 2k right so we have the x and the y coordinates for the minimum point are x coordinate is k square and the y coordinate is 2k right the tangent at the point on the curve where x is equals to 4k square intersect the y-axis at P. Okay, so tangent, equation of tangent at the point where x is equals to um, kx square, it intersect the y-axis. This is kx square. We have a tangent at this point. This, we have a tangent at this point. It intersect the y-axis 
at point P. So this is a point P where x coordinate is 0 and we have some y coordinate. We have to, the question is find the y coordinate of P in terms of K, right? So first we need to find what is the equation of tangent at this point, right? So for equation of tangent, the first thing is we have to find dy by dx at x is equals to 4k square. So we have dy by dx. We already got the dy by dx, which is 1 by 2 square root of x minus k square over 2 x square root of x, right? So substitute x with uh, 4k square. 1 over 2 square root of 4k square minus k square over 2 k 4k square into square root of 4k square right so this is 1 by 2 into 2k right so this k square is cancelled with k square minus 1 over 2 times 4 is 8 into 2k right so 1 over 4k minus 1 over 8 times 2 is 16k right so what is the x value 1 over 4 minus 1 over 16 1 by 4 minus 1 by 16 is 3 by 16k 3 over 16k this is a gradient right and we need the point x y x is 4k scale we have to solve for y what is the y at this point so x y is x uh, square root of x which is square root of 4k square plus k square over square root of 4k square let me solve for y so we have the y coordinate which is 2k plus k square over 2k right so this k and this k is cancelled we are left with uh, 2k plus k by 2 so if i take k common we have 2 plus 1 by 2 1 by 2 plus 2 which is 5 by 2k so the coordinates uh, for the equation of tangent is 4k square and 5 by 2k now the equation of tangent is y minus y naught is equals to the slope which is 3 over 16 k into x minus x naught okay so what is y from here y would be equals to 3 over 16 k into x minus 4 k square plus 5 by 2 k this is equation of tangent right so we have to find the y coordinate of p in terms of k y coordinate of the point p and we have given that the uh, equation of tangent intersect the y-axis at point p we got the equation of tangent right it intersect the y-axis at point p so from an equation of tangent that substitute y would x equals to zero we will get y okay so we can say at x is equals to zero what is y which is 3 over 16 k into minus 4 k square plus 5 by 2 k right simplification we have um, k and k is cancelled 4 times 4 is 16 so we are left with negative 3 by 4 k and plus 5 by 2 k 5 by 2 minus 3 by 2 sorry 3 by 5 divides 2 minus 3 divides 4 which is 7 by 4 k y coordinate is positive 7 by 4 k right so we can say that the y coordinate of p is p in terms of k is 7 k over 4 right the shaded region is bounded by the curve 
द एक्स एक्सेस एंड द लाइन्स एक्स इक्वस टू नाइन बाई फोर के स्केयर एंड एक्स इक्वस टू फोर के स्केयर पार्ट सी फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द शेडेड रीजन इन टर्म्स ऑफ के सो वी नीड टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ द शेडेड रीजन द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ द कर्व बिटवीन द टू पॉइंट्स बिटवीन नाइन बाई फोर के स्केयर टू फोर के स्केयर वी हैव टू इंटीग्रेट एक्स पावर वन बाई टू प्लस के स्केयर एक्स पावर माइनस वन बाई टू विद रिस्पेक्ट टू डी एक्स लेट्स डू दिस एंड फाइंड आउट द एरिया सो इट इज एक्स पावर वन बाई टू प्लस वन विच इज थ्री बाई टू डिवाइड थ्री बाई टू प्लस के स्केयर इज कॉमन सो एक्स पावर माइनस वन बाई टू प्लस वन इज वन बाई टू ओवर वन बाई टू एंड सब्सिट्यूटिंग द लिमिट्स नाइन के स्केयर ओवर फोर टू फोर के स्केयर राइट सो दिस इज टू ओवर थ्री एक्स पावर थ्री बाई टू प्लस टू के स्केयर एक्स पावर वन बाई टू नाइन के स्केयर बाई फोर टू फोर के स्केयर राइट लेट सब्सिट्यूट द लिमिट्स सो टू ओवर थ्री अपर लिमिट इज फोर के स्केयर इन टू फोर के स्केयर बिकॉज थ्री बाई टू इज एक्स इन टू एक्स एक्स वन प्लस वन बाई टू ओके सो टू के स्केयर इज एज इट इज स्केयर रूट ऑफ फोर के स्केयर राइट दिस इज अपर लिमिट माइनस सब्सिट्यूटिंग द लोअर लिमिट टू बाई थ्री इज थ्री नाइन के स्केयर ओवर फोर इन टू स्केयर रूट ऑफ नाइन के स्केयर ओवर फोर सब्ट्रैक्ट अगेन टू के स्केयर एंड स्केयर रूट ऑफ नाइन ओवर फोर के स्केयर राइट फॉर द सिंप्लीफिकेशन वी हैव द एरिया इज इक्वल्स टू टू बाई थ्री फोर के स्केयर इन टू टू के माइनस टू के स्केयर इन टू टू के दिस इज प्लस सॉरी एंड माइनस टू बाई थ्री नाइन बाई फोर के स्केयर इन टू थ्री बाई टू के एंड माइनस टू के स्केयर इन टू थ्री बाई टू के राइट लेट मी सिंप्लीफाई दिस फर्दर ओके सो वी हैव टू टाइम्स फोर टाइम्स टू डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री सिक्सटीन बाई थ्री के क्यूब प्लस फोर के क्यूब माइनस वी हैव टू टाइम्स नाइन ओके टू इज कैंसल विथ टू थ्री इज कैंसल विथ थ्री नाइन बाई फोर के क्यूब ओके दिस टू इज कैंसल विथ टू माइनस थ्री के क्यूब सिंप्लीफाई वी विल गेट सिक्सटीन बाई थ्री प्लस फोर माइनस नाइन बाई फोर माइनस थ्री which is 49 over 12k cube this is a shaded area so that was the last question of our paper if you have any queries please let me know in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching see you next time take care